Hello everyone, welcome to a Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. We've got a few really cool products to talk about this week, so stick around and see what we've got. These parts come from the Simon Stenciling Kit. We've been selling the Simon Stenciling Kit for a little while now, and it included all the parts you need to stencil and paste your own Simon. Unfortunately, our stock of paste ran out. We had a really hard time getting some solder paste, and also it was a relatively expensive kit, and not many people really ended up buying it. So what we decided to do is we took out the PCB, we took out the manual, and took out the stencil, and we've got those sold separately. So if you want to purchase the Simon SMD kit or already have one, you can use this little kit with some solder paste to stencil your own Simon. It comes with the stencil here, which lays over the top of the PCB, and you just snap this apart, stencil with the paste, put on the components, heat it up, put it in the oven, whatever you need to do, melt the solder, and you have your own reflowed Simon kit. And this does have the instructional booklet to tell you all the steps you need to do to do this. If you are interested in the stencil kit, we have discontinued the full Simon stencil, but now we have the individual components here for you to do your own kit. As I previously mentioned, we have had some issues in the past getting a reliable source for solder paste. Of course, we use this downstairs in production for all of our different boards, but we get them in massive quantities and it's just not feasible to divvy that up into little small jars. This week, we have solder paste for you. This comes from Quick Chip, and this is really good, nice solder paste, and it is a reliable US supplier, so we know we can keep this in stock, and we know that it's a known quantity and a good paste. It comes in a 100 gram jar, but as you can see, you get 50 grams in there, so you know, if you get this, keep in mind that it will only be half full. That is as intended. And 50 grams of paste, as you can see, is enough to do quite a few boards. It's just enough for the hobby user to do you know, a full panel of prototype boards or something like that. And you just keep this in the fridge to keep it fresh. And we have a nice little stenciling video that shows you how to do surface mount soldering with solder paste. And lastly, for anyone that's interested in doing wearable technology, e-textiles, or crafting, this is conductive Velcro. We have it in two different sizes. We've got it in this 10 centimeter long strip, and then we also have it in the longer 40 centimeter long strip. And of course, these can just be cut to length, so you can cut this to whatever size that is dictated by your project or application. And what's interesting about this versus standard Velcro is that you can conduct electricity through it. You can connect this to one side of something, this to the other side, and when you actually put them together, you complete a circuit. So you can use this in the same way that you would use any type of wire. And of course, we're going to show you a little demonstration of how one could use this. And for these new product videos, we have Nick Poole that does a lot of the demos for the videos, and a lot of times I don't see what the demo is until I am standing right here. This is a good case of a demo that I just saw about five minutes ago, and it's very interesting. This is the do-it-yourself Rob kit. It comes with a few different accessories. We've got classic Rob. We've got pirate Rob, which is Australian apparently. And we have robotic Rob. which looks a little something like that. And this is true to life. As you can see, all the power does come from the beard. And this is a good application. This is an application of how you could use conductive Velcro. These are the new parts for this week. We have the parts for the Simon stenciling kit. We have the conductive Velcro, and we have the really nice high quality solder paste for all your stenciling needs. Unfortunately, we will not be selling the Rob kit anytime soon, but you are more than welcome to make your own. Just please do not email me about it. Thank you for watching, and as always, go ahead and check out the website for more new products, and we'll see you again next week.